Water rates could soon get cheaper for two communities in North County, but it could leave the rest of you paying more. Good evening. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Fallbrook and Rainbow are looking to cut ties with the county's water district and switch to a less expensive supplier. But the move may mean higher rates for the customers who remain. CBSA's Jenny Day is live tonight with what's happening just after the weekend. Jenny. Yeah, good evening. A vote is happening right here at the County Administration Center on Monday that would allow both Fallbrook and Rainbow to change their water supply and get it from an outside agency in Riverside County. Rainbow and Fallbrook both say that it would save residents money, but San Diego says that it could cost the rest of us more. The San Diego economy runs on water. The fight over water continues. Rainbow Municipal and Fallbrook Public Utility, two out of the 24 San Diego County Water Authority districts, are looking to detach from the mainstream water supply and instead get H2O from a wholesaler in Riverside County. The two North County communities say it would save residents there close to $8 million a year and help the agriculture industry that is dried up due to rising water costs. But other local leaders want them to stay with our supply, saying otherwise it will cost the rest of us $200 million more over the next decade if they stop paying their share. We as San Diego County Region have come together over the last two decades to invest in water infrastructure and water supply reliability in order to ensure safe, clean and reliable water for each of our homes and businesses. These two agencies now just want to skip out and leave the rest of us footing the bill. I spoke with LAFCO, the local agency formation commissions. They serve as the watchdog group overseeing this proposal. For um, families who are already struggling, we certainly can appreciate it and understand that this would be a concern um, for them. LAFCO is still, however, recommending to allow the detachment and change their water supply, but with conditions like a five year exit fee of $24 million to help the San Diego County Water Authority offset the lost revenue and have time to come up with new revenue streams or cost saving measures. The exit fee proposed by LAFCO staff is based on year old data and questionable projections that understate the actual cost of detachment by 50%. And they face a truly unprecedented decision that will affect generations of San Diego County water ratepayers. If Rainbow and Fallbrook do switch their water source, it's expected to save families there $23.50 a month. But again, those opposed are asking LAFCO for a no vote to help protect the majority of ratepayers. As it stands, if Rainbow and Fallbrook water districts leave the San Diego Water Authority, each and every household in the rest of the county could see their water bills increase by more than a dollar a month. Now, if this is approved on Monday, it would then go to the voters living in Fallbrook and Rainbow. That's about 32,000 people. Those opposed would like it to be up for a countywide vote. Definitely keep it here to see how it unfolds. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Jenny Day.